I still wonder sometimes why people reacted so extremely to Tom Cruise jumping up and down on Oprah's couch. What was the big deal? People are just like, oh my god, he's jumping up and down on the couch. It's it's so crazy. Oh, he's just insane. Oh, oh, look, look what Scientology's doing to me. He's crazy. Look, he's jumping up and down on the couch. I'm like, what? So he's excited that he's jumping up and down on the couch. Oh, no, it's an adult. Adults don't do that. Adults don't do that. You shouldn't do that. And it's just, ah, ah, come on, people. Come on. We want people to be happy. And then we make fun of people who are trying to be happy. We, it's, it's just a strange thing to me. And yet, I don't know, we, we, we don't want people to be excited. We don't want people to be angry. We don't want people to really show much emotions. We, we seem to want people to just be almost apathetic to things. We want people to talk about subjects, but we, they want to, they should be kind of apathetic. And it's just kind of odd. I've got a friend of mine who I go to his house sometimes. We have a lot of really good discussions, but he's, he's, just, he's always just like telling me that I just, I'm too, no, I'm getting too loud or I'm getting too this or I'm, it's just, it's always, you know, calm down. You don't need to be so emotional. Like what? When I get emotional, that's when I'm able to discuss what I'm talking about the best. It's when I'm able to have my words come out the best. I have a problem with words. I, I, my spelling is great. Uh, my grammar is good. It used to be a lot better, but I tried to focus more on speaking language instead of the whole, the formal written language, which I used to focus on. So I would be more understood. And then of course I find out later on, I should have probably stuck with the written language way of approach. But, um, <sighs> As a musician, I, I don't know if other musicians deal with this, so I, I, I shouldn't even say as a musician, but I, I, I focus so much on my senses and what I'm, and, and the, the, like, the sound of words. It's why, I mean, I can, I can do a very good DJ voice if I really want to. Uh, uh, Welcome to McDonald's Radio. You've reached a, a sewage replantery in toilet paper essentials or something. I don't know. I don't. I have no idea what what script. To, if I have a script, I'm all good. But if I don't have any sort of script, you know. Um, but I, I I've always focused a lot on on the way words sound and and the inflections and the way that you know all of those things and all of those kind of details and. And like with visuals, I always focused on fonts and, and 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 I remember things based off of these kind of emotions that I feel when I when I when I hear things a certain way. And so sometimes for me to really be able to explain what I want to explain, if I allow myself to be emotional about it, it's just like it just comes out blah, 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 and I can say it. But then I've got there's people like my friend who is just like, well, no, you, you need to be calm and collected about everything that you say. And it's just like, well, then I don't, and then I'm not able to say it. I lose the words. I can't focus on the words. I mean, the thing that I have with words is, is I end up, I mean, like I said, I focus on, I end up focusing on the sounds of words and the spelling and sentence structure and the meanings of words sometimes Sometimes I'll have to process what someone says a couple times and then, oh, oh, that's what they meant. And it's sometimes just really simple stuff. Someone will just tell me something and I'll have to say, what? And then they'll, they'll repeat it and I'm like, oh, oh, yeah. And it's, oh, it's something just... I, I could even have heard what they said right, but well, but I, I, I'll, like, associate a word with, with something else. It, it, it just, it's like, is this the right word? You know, people talk about doing things on automatic, and it's just like with words. Even I, I, I don't do things on automatic. I'm constantly questioning the meanings of words in the middle of my saying them. But when I'm able to be emotional about what I say, that all goes away, and I just I'm able to just say what I want to say. So I don't know where I'm going with this, but I just wish that people would feel more free to be emotional about things as long as they're not being abusive. Now, for a lot of people, 
the only emotion they seem to be able to express when they're like like on YouTube most of the time the, the main emotion you see expressed on YouTube that is intense is anger you don't see that much of people being excited about things I'm so excited this is so wonderful this is great you don't see that very much unless maybe you do and I'm just not looking for it maybe that's the problem maybe that's the real problem I'm not looking for it you know you find what you're looking for don't you don't you? you know, I bet if I just went and went on YouTube right now and I searched for I'm the phrase I'm so excited I'd probably run into the Pointer Sisters, so I'd have to do minus the Pointer Sisters, and then I'd probably run into a bunch of cover versions of it. Okay, well that's not a good example, but... <laughs> um, I don't know. I just... I just know that a lot of people seem to thrive on, and I, I was one of them for, for, for quite a while, but it's thriving on this whole, oh, let's see people get pissed off. Yeah, let's get, let's, yeah. I don't know. I guess I still have some of that in me. It's, but it's also neat. It's just really great to see people get excited. I thought it was great when, when Tom Cruise was jumping up and down on that couch and he was excited. I thought that was fucking cool. I was like, yeah. And then the, the response he got out of it, I was like, oh, that's so disappointing. I'm rambling long enough. <laughs>